Practice block and low to high from both. Okay, so here we go. This guy two gaps the lifter. Here it is. Get to that hip. When we block these linebackers, we are trying to bounce them over the top. I'll explain why a little further when, uh, when we get to the actual plays. Okay, here it is. Two freshmen right here. Two true freshmen right here. Okay, left guard. Slow hands, right? This guy two gaps the double team. The first thing he makes contact with is his face. He's getting stood up, so we don't really get much of a lift. Pretty good job here by the tackle getting to the hip. Pretty good. Okay, so here's a guy right here. This is DJ Campbell. He's just telling you right now, God forbid he doesn't have an injury, he'll be an All-American. He is extremely powerful, extremely powerful. True freshman, but he's starting to get his footwork figured out. This is not very good footwork, but he's starting to get it figured out. This guy, two gaps the combination. He's got his hand. He's got his screws under the screws of the defender. Here comes the tackle. And I think this one gets a little weird because he's knocking the guy off the ball so far. I think it's kind of a little distorted for the tackle where he actually hits the guard instead of the defender. But I don't think it's because of bad footwork. I like the tackle's footwork. I just think the guy holding the bag has got to anchor down a little bit better. Okay, let's go here. Let's go to ace. Okay, now it's the center and the guard. And it's all the same stuff. This guy's head up, so we're not using his shoulder. But I don't know how much odd front you guys are seeing right now. When I was in the SEC, three quarters of the teams are, are three, four teams because everybody's a derivative of the Nick Saban defense. Uh, in, the, in the Big 12, Baylor does it. We do it, so we see it every day in practice. And then we get a mix of stuff, some 3-3 three, three with three safety defense, which I don't know if that's kind of hit you guys yet, but that's coming. So this is a really good, if you're playing a defense that has like a big two-gapping nose guard, okay? My centers are generally smaller than my guards and tackles. So I tell them, I said, listen, here's the deal. You're, you're setting this guy up. It's what you're doing. I want you to step away from your help. You got to use your hands because he's head up. Hit him right down the middle and lift him up in the air because the guard is going to create the movement. So the guard creates this movement with his near shoulder and his far hand. So remember I said before, if the color disappears, snap the hip. Well now, the color's already, there is no color. So immediately, we are going to shoulder punch this guy with our near shoulder and take our backside hand, go right to that hip and snap the hip. So we are going to stick our shoulder, we're going to try and stick it right in his rib cage. And that's going to create some movement now. Like this is a pretty good example of it right here. Really good footwork. I love the fact that he's gaining ground. Bam, there it is. Near foot lead or gallop, shoulder punch, far hand to the hip. And remember what I said now. The closer this guy is, the more likely he is to come over the top. So we got to be ready for that guy to come over the top. Okay, here's a freshman doing it now. 54 is a true freshman. Near shoulder, far hand. Near shoulder to the ribs, far hand to the hip, snap him over. Good, same two there, same two there. Okay, pretty good. 